Hello, I'm Martin McGuinness. Welcome to our series on animation building blocks in Flutter. In this series, we're going to introduce you to animations in Flutter and show you how to build both simple and complex animations for your Flutter app. In this first video, we're going to focus on the most straightforward way to add animations to your app. You don't have to be an expert on animations or animation terminology to add animations to your app. Along the way, we'll introduce some widgets and terminology that will help you get started with animations right away, as well as give you some background for the rest of the episodes. Flutter includes a series of widgets that are animated versions of existing widgets that you've probably already used in your app, such as the animated container version of the container widget and the animated position version of the positioned widget. These widgets automatically animate changes to their properties. When you rebuild the widget with new property values, such as with stateful widgets set state, the widget will handle driving the animation from the previous value to the new value. These widgets are called implicitly animated widgets. And these widgets will typically be the first thing you reach for when you need to add animations to your app. They provide a means of adding animations without adding additional complexity. Let's look a little closer at how you can use one of these implicitly animated widgets to add some animations to your app. In this app, we have a container and a button. When the button is pressed, set state is called and the container is rebuilt with a new value for width. You'll notice that the container changes its width immediately without any animation. We can add some animation to this app by swapping the container widget with an animated container widget and specifying an animation duration. Now, when the button is pressed, the container will gradually animate from the previous width value to the new value. The process of animating through the values between the old and the new is called interpolation. The animated container handles interpolating its property between old and new values whenever they change. This applies to all the animated container's properties, including, for example, the decoration. We can modify the gradient with a decoration, and the animated container will handle interpolating between the old and new gradient. Implicitly animated widgets, like animated container, have two properties that you can use to control the animation's behavior. You can control how long it takes to interpolate to the new value by setting the duration property. In this example, we made the animation take a much longer amount of time. You can also control the way the widget interpolates from the old to the new value by using a curve. Curves control the rate of change over time and can help your animations feel more realistic. For this example, we'll change the curve from the default linear curve to a cubic curve. If you view the animations side by side, you'll see that while they take the same amount of time, the one with the cubic curve changes differently. There are many different built-in curves available to give your animations a bit of character, and you can also define your own custom curves. Curves can even be discontinuous, like the sawtooth curve. Here's an example of a custom curve called sine curve that uses a sine function to make a curve that bounces back and forth. Here, it's being used to make a star bounce up and down. To summarize, Flutter provides implicitly animated widgets that are animated versions of common widgets. You can control the way these widgets animate using durations and curves. Animated Container is a specifically powerful implicitly animated widget since it has many properties that affect its appearance and all of them are automatically interpolated. All the other implicitly animated widgets are also powerful, easy to use options for adding animations without adding a lot of complexity. You also don't necessarily need to place these widgets into a stateful widget and use set state. You can use Stream Builder and Future Builder to trigger animations as well. Implicitly animated widgets are going to be your first choice for adding animations. However, this isn't all that Flutter Animation System has to offer. In the rest of this series, we'll explore the lower layers of the Flutter Animation System and show you how you can build advanced animations by using the animation system directly. For everything else, go visit flutter.dev.